Smack dab in a plain old Sierra Vista strip mall, not far from Fort Huachuca, sits the German cafe. Outside, the smells of schnitzel, spatzel, and bratwurst hang in the air, just above a sign advertising the day's special. According to the Arizona Highway Magazine, we're among the 25 most popular restaurants in Arizona. Score one for the scribes at Arizona Highways Magazine. Debrezina, sauerkraut, potato salad, and roulade mit semmelknödel and rotkraut. Because the food that comes straight from Annette Engel's kitchen, das ist wunderbar. Das ist gut. Germany is well known for schnitzel, pork loin, with different gravies. But the um, Oladen, because a lot of people say, oh, in Germany, a lot of it is with pork. No, we have a lot of beef dishes too, and Oladen is something special. Aneta didn't just offer to cook the Oladen. She let my crew into her kitchen so she could share her recipe. Good morning, Arizona Highway Television. And I would like to show you today how to fix beef rouladen with red cabbage and semmelknödel, that's the Bavarian uh, dumplings. This is beef, bottom round. We have a local butcher cutting it for us. Pepper, salt, and you put a good amount of mustard. Now bacon, and you have a pickle half. Onions, now take them, roll it up. You tuck the sides in as good as you can. I use a toothpick to hold them together. Next up, Annetta fries up the beef roulade and prepares to make some dumplings. Those are French rolls cut up in pieces. You need a little bit lukewarm milk to soak it. Parsley, salt and pepper, okay. And nutmeg, that's a very important seasoning in here. Onions, I would say for this amount of bread, you have about three eggs. The bread is gonna take a little while. They have to soak up the milk. While the bread soaks, Annetta begins preparing the other side dish, red cabbage, to which she adds a bay leaf, some cloves, onions, apples, and vinegar. Annetta then makes a gravy for her roulade. She includes a half stick of butter, about a cup of flour, and stirs it up together with the pan drippings. To all that, she adds some more red wine. Then she adds water, carrots, red peppers, and onions. Put them back in your gravy and they will cook on low for about 60 minutes. This is how the dumpling dough looks when it's finished. You roll them up, you have a boiling pot of water and then you let them sink in. They will be cooked for about I would say, a good 20 minutes. When you see them swimming on top, that means they're done. Okay, Robin, this is our finished dish. It's beef rouladen, red cabbage, semmelknödel. Guten Appetit. Danke schön, Annetta. Danke schön.